in this discussion you can see selection data type field in brief in case you missed previous video about date time data type field please check link is available in description in html uh, while create a combo box to select one option from many options uh, the time this field will help you and its name is selection field uh, this field format is list of tuple and each tuple having two items one is for storing data in database and second is for label name only for like GUI purpose so let's create one selection field school die fields dot selection then after here we have to use list of tuple one list having a multiple options so first uh, in one tuple always having the two items the first one and the second one so first one is like uh, whenever you are using this one it will store into database and this one is appear in front end side you can add any any value not only a string but you can also add it and you can add as an integer but right now we will use string key uh, here public as a front end side public public school after private private school comma after we have to use a uh, label name type of school this is label name and this is options and it will appear from GeoSide as a combo box so right now we will use school underscore type here so remember we just added here plus we already added in uh, form view so that time we have to restart the service plus upgrade the module so refresh the page you can see here type of school you can see this is the same as combo box here you can see public school private school and this is a null or by default it's a false value you can see uh, public and private so both will appear like this one and uh, as a in database side it, uh, this field will store only this one or this one so you can use like this one more attribute we will use here is a tilde uh, using help this is select school time save the changes and don't need no need to upgrade module just restart the service because we change in python side and refresh the page you can over here in this field you can see the tooltip one more command is required command and which is mandatory required rule restart the service no need to upgrade the module refresh the page when you try to create you can see the color also changed from normal to this color and whenever I will try to save it you can see type of school uh, the following fields are invalid 
so this those are the mandatory fields one more thing is uh, read only refresh the uh, sorry restart the service and refresh the page you can see this is read only label is appear here but it's a read only one more command is uh, default like while create new record that time by default if you want to choose public school or private school so it is also possible by default like you have to use this the first key like zero index of each tuple like you can use like here private let's say private if you will use this one in default it won't be work refresh the page so restart the service and refresh the page you can see this is a private school by default it's up here like let's we will change from zero index to one index and let's see the change restart the service and refresh the page you can see it's not found that key in zero index so that's why it's appear as a false so you have to remember you have to always remember always tuples zero index you have to use you can also use a method here and based on that uh, like some conditional part you can also do it and based on that it will return the same thing like either this one or this one restart the service refresh the page by default it's a public school because uh, you can see here uh, default is a public So when well, we change in python side now we will go to xml side and add same attributes like in xml side first we will remove from python side so you will have a better visibility restart the service refresh the page you can see it will disappear go to external side and first first thing is we will overwrite the string value so, yeah. here we not here we no need to restart the service but we need to upgrade the mod, uh, module so that's why we use from terminal side refresh the page here you can see type of school school type you see here another command is like another attribute is read only one so it will be read only from GUI side you can see here another one is required we start and upgrade the module refresh the page you can see another command
command is invisible it will in invisible it will invisible the label once refresh the page one more command is uh, place holder place map die refresh the page you can see please select type but this is the tooltip please remember the difference between uh, tooltip and uh, this two data this two is actual data it's come from python side and it will store to database but when you click this one it won't be stored this string like please select type is not storing inside the database but like it it's only a geo gui part and for more information about placeholder you can uh, visit html placeholder input type that's it for now in case you have any doubt please comment below and please don't forget to like and subscribe see you in next video